Howdy folks, it's your friend Fishing with Dom, and today I'm going to talk to you about dip baits. Dip baits work very well for channel catfish in Michigan. Now, no matter where you are, these will catch bullhead, channel catfish, and even blue catfish. Not so much flatheads for all the flathead enthusiasts out there, but if you're looking to catch a couple more channel catfish, add this stuff to your tackle box. It really, really can help. Now, in particular, this is the Berkeley Power Bait Power Dip in the blood flavor. This comes in the blood flavor and the cheese flavor. I've used other dip baits aside from the power bait. This stuff works really, really well. It's the only jar I have on hand right now. And it, it, it lasts a long time. It's not too expensive. This can is about 12 ounces and it cost me maybe maybe nine or ten dollars at the at the local Meyer. So when you open up a dip bait and you look on the inside, it's very consistent. I've got my little stern stick right here. If you look in there, it's this paste. It's this nice, thick paste. Now, if you've ever smelled this stuff, it doesn't smell great, but it kind of smells like dog food. So, yeah, that's definitely dog food. Now, I just put this in my microwave to demonstrate how thick this stuff will remain, even when it under really really hot really humid conditions and it'll stay on the on the worm holder very very well that's about what it is right there brown brown paste it smells like some sort of meat product it works really well to catch fish now I haven't fished with the cheese flavor all too much I figured hey Blood attracts fish. I'll try the blood flavor. And this worked pretty well for me earlier this year. I'm a big catfish guy, so I like to play with my baits. I've experimented with dip baits in the past before, and they worked really well for me. Uh, when you're fishing with a dip bait like this, you need a special worm to keep the, the dip, the, the, this paste on, almost. I, I guess we'll just call it the dip. You need a dip worm. Now, if you look at the dip worm, it's got these pores up here on both ends, and it's got these deep ribs in between. That way, when you put the dip worm inside of the bait, the paste and the scent is going to get caught all in between these ribs and inside all of these pores, and you're going to be able to have a nice glob sitting on top of the hook. And I'll demonstrate that in a couple of moments. And you're going to, normally you'll have the looped end here, going to a some sort of swivel on a slip sinker rig or three-way rig or even under a bobber. I fish these under dams a lot, under floats, and it works very, very well. And we're, it's going down to a treble hook here. You just bait up, cast it out there, and tight line or float fish, whatever you want to do, and wait for a fish to pick up and go for it. Now, once you have your dip worm and everything's all rigged up and you're ready to cast it out there, all you do is take the dip worm, and dip it inside of the bait, just like that. Now, whenever you're on the riverbank, get a little stick. I don't like getting this stuff on my hands. It's kind of, it smells, and it's hard to wash off your hands. But this stuff is awesome. I will just goop some on there. Cover the pores, cover the ribs. Pull that out of there. And just like that. This is what we got going on here. Now, take, take into consideration, I just pulled this out of my, my kitchen microwave. It was very hot, and, the, di and the, the dip is still remaining very consistent. And that also means, and the folks at Berkeley claim that this will stay on in the current as well. And it really does. When I float fish with this, uh, it holds scent, it holds on to the dough very, very well. Seldomly, I'll take it out and put a couple more coats on it, but... Just like this, you cast it out there, it's good to go. It'll catch it'll catch you some ch nice channel catfish, that's for sure. Now, I'm trying to get this smell to grow on me. It just smells like cheap dog food. But this catches channel catfish, regardless of what it smells like. It works, so can't beat it. Now, there we go. We have the dip worm covered in the dip bait. Great way to catch catfish. I always keep a jar with me. Uh, whenever I'm on the riverbank, just in case I run out of natural bait, or in case they want something a little different on whatever day I'm fishing. And this is an excellent way to either, you know, engage it full force in your, in your tackle arsenal, or keep it as a backup 
But this is a confidence bait for me. Whenever I know I'm going to get into some fish, I know this will help me catch fish as well. Some days they're not going to hit cut bait as well as they're going to hit hot dogs soaked in Kool-Aid or they might prefer the dip bait. you got to play around with it. Now, you don't have to use a dip worm. I've seen people take treble hooks and cut up pieces of sponge and dip the sponge in there. Whatever floats your boat, whatever catches fish, by all means, go for it. We're going to get out of here before it stinks up my office. Now, if you have any questions, comments, or video suggestions, please let me know below. Thank you for watching Fishing with Dom. Bye-bye.